It's almost Easter, so let's design an Easter card in Adobe Illustrator. First, we need to create the document in Illustrator. I'm going to design this card based on a standard greeting card size of five by seven inches. However, we do need to make the artboard double the width because the card will be folded when we print it. So the artboard will be a 10 by seven artboard. Since the card is typically printed, we're going to use the CMYK color code for this document. Now we have our artboard, I'm going to place a guide directly in the center so that I can tell where the fold will be. So I'm pressing Ctrl R so that I can see my rulers and then I'm pulling from the vertical ruler to place the guide in the center. The front of our card is on the right hand side and the back of the card is on the left. I'm going to place the 3D buddy that we made last week on the front of this card. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the cards above as well as in the description down below and you can go watch that video right after you watch this one. Okay, I'm also going to type out Happy Easter and choose a fun font for this text. Okay, I like this one, but I want to curve this type to be above the bunny. So with my type selected, I'm clicking on the warp tool by going to effect warp, and I'm going to select the arc option and adjust my slider until I get the desired effect. This looks pretty good right here, so I'm just going to click OK, and voila, we have our curve text. Now let's add some triangles in the corners as a border element and then I'm going to use my blob brush tool which is shift B on the keyboard to create a sort of rope in between them kind of making a banner almost in the corners of the card. Okay now let's go ahead and add some eggs. I'm using the ellipse tool and I am not holding the shift button this time that way I can create an oval shape opposed to a perfect circle. Now let's fill the egg with a fun bright color and add some small black speckles to it. Now I'm again going to use the ellipse tool and create a shadow effect behind the egg. I'm creating a sort of squished oval and filling it with black and then I'm arranging it behind the egg by pressing control shift left bracket and now I'm going to effect blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to adjust the slider to the desired effect here as well. This looks pretty good. So for a fun personalized touch, I'm actually going to add my logo at the bottom center of the back of the card, sort of like you would see on a greeting card that you get from the store. Now if you want to create a message on the inside of your card, just simply copy this artboard over by pressing Shift O on your keyboard and selecting the artboard. Then hold down Alt as you drag to an open spot on your workspace. I'm going to place mine directly below the front and back artboard that we just made so that I keep that guide in the center of the card. Now on this one, your type should be placed on the left side of the artboard so that when the card is folded, it ends up on the right hand side of the folded card. Go ahead and type your message, choose your font, and place it in the center of the left hand side. Now our Easter card is complete. You can send this out to your friends and family by an e-card by simply exporting as a PDF and texting or emailing your friends a copy. Or you can print by pressing Ctrl P and having your settings set to include all artboards and make sure do not scale is selected. Then click setup at the lower left and this will open up your computer settings. In here, ensure that double-sided printing is selected and that it is set to flip on long edge. If you design your card to be landscape size instead of portrait like we did in the tutorial today, just make sure that you choose flip on short edge. 
that will print it to where it will flip up on the landscape card but if we choose flip on long edge it's going to flip open like a book <laughs> And we've just created an Easter card in Adobe Illustrator. You can use this tutorial to create personalized greeting cards for any occasion that you have and wow your friends and family with true custom greeting cards. You also can earn passive income by selling these greeting cards. If you would like to learn more about earning passive income as a graphic designer, then let me know down in the comments below and I might just do a video on that in the future. If you'd like to see more of my Adobe Illustrator processes, make sure to check out this video right here where I create a full brand identity for a client. But for now, until the next video, remember to become the brand, have a blessed Easter, and bye!